Hi Notioneers, today I'm going to run through the process for setting up your medication tracker Notion template and Apple shortcut. It's a pretty simple uh, system, so basically all we've got here is a medications database which is where you will be adding the medications that you need to take and when you need to take them and then we have this log database which will probably look like this when you first open the template which just shows you all of the different times when you have taken a particular medication and obviously feeds into this database via a relation and roll-ups so that you can keep track of which medications you still need to take and how frequently you're taking them. So to show you how this Apple shortcut works, if I just run the shortcut from up here, then we can choose our medication there and that's all we need to do in order to log a medication that we've taken. You can see that the time since we've last taken the medication has updated just here. Times we've taken the medication today has updated just here. And the status is now green so that we know that we don't need to worry about taking that medication anymore. You can also run that Apple shortcut by tapping an NFC tag. I will show you how to do that a little bit later on in the video. But for now, we'll just focus on, first of all, the Notion template. So if we have a look at the medications database, it's a pretty simple database. You just need to select the days when you should be taking your medication right here. Uh, the times that we've taken the medication today is being pulled in from a rollout property just there from our logs database, which is linking to the uh, relation that we've got right here. And then last completed, again, pulling in from log entries, and status is a fairly straightforward formula. Basically, all we're doing here is checking whether or not we've taken the medication today. If we have, then we're showing a green status symbol right there. If uh, we're not due to take the medication at all today, then you're gonna see a white status icon right here. And if you are due to take the medication today, but you haven't yet, then you're gonna see that orange icon just there. Obviously, potentially, uh, a couple of changes that you could make to this formula uh, would be to uh, set a goal to take a medication twice in one day or to uh, show a red status symbol if you didn't take the medication yesterday, for example. But there's too many different scenarios to sort of manage uh, there potentially, so I haven't tried to incorporate that logic into the formula. You do have the times taken today roll up property here though obviously so if you did want to compare that with a sort of goal which you could record as a number in an additional property in this database and then use that to calculate your status if you want to take the medication more than once in a single day then you would be able to do that and then if we take a look at the log database these are all of your different log entries a nice simple database as well We've just got the date when we took the medication, which is gonna be fed into this database from your Apple shortcuts. So you don't need to worry about entering that manually. Uh, we've got a utility property here, which is just look, recording whether or not this date is today so that we can pull that into the medications database. You've got the relation, which is linking to the medications database here, which will again be property, uh, Will be populated automatically by the apple shortcut and then we have the created time here just so that you can compare that with the date and check for anything strange that might be going on uh, with the shortcut or the way that you're logging those entries but hopefully it won't be so that's the notion template if we open up the apple shortcuts as well first of all we've got the setting shortcut right here uh, this the structure of the shortcuts is using the same design that I've been using for my last few shortcuts. So first of all, uh, we are recording the details about the API connection right here, then the details about the medication database, and lastly, details about the log database. When you first open the shortcut up, you will be prompted to fill in uh, the key details that we need in order for the shortcut to work. So the API key is just going to be the internal integration token that you've set up for this shortcut or for your shortcuts in general. Um, 
are there's a link to another video guide which I've shared in the setup guide for this shortcut which explains how to create an internal integration token if you don't have one already and then obviously once you have created that internal integration token you just need to make sure that you've shared these databases with that connection so if you go to the three dots in the top right hand corner of the page add connections and then you will uh, see your shortcut uh, or your connection uh, that you've created when you made the internal integration token select that and that's going to share these two databases with that so that we can access them via the api then we just need to enter the id of our medications database so to get that you just need to open the medications database in full page view and then if we look at the url for this database it's this bit here in between the forward slash at the end of your workspace uh, name if you have one and the question mark before the view id right there so just copy and paste that into the shortcut you need the same id or uh, obviously not the same id but uh, you need to get the id of your log database in the same way and then if you've changed the name of the properties that we're referencing throughout the shortcut at all or you're connecting the shortcut with your own database that you had already just enter the names of those properties next to these label uh, entries right here so that's it for the settings if we just open up the main app itself or the main shortcut there's not much to do here at all uh, basically all you need to do is link this shortcut to the setting shortcut so again when you open this shortcut for the first time you'll be prompted to do that and you should see a message please select the short setting shortcut here and the have the option to select the setting shortcut in that pop-up window and that's literally all you need to do in order to get those shortcuts set up so if you want to use the shortcut with nfc tags all you need to do is open your shortcuts app go into the automation tab add a new automation create a personal automation and then scroll down to the nfc option here scan your nfc tag and then name it so you can give this whatever name it is most suitable so i've called mine heights for example and then if we go to next we want to add an action to add a text section and we can just enter the name of our medication here which would be heights again this is case sensitive and needs to match the name of the medication in your medications database and then if you want to also log your health sample in the apple health app you can do that here too you probably want to move this bit up to the top of the uh, actions section just here actually and then choose your type so if we were going to do vitamin d we would just choose that right here and then enter the number of grams so that could be 45 um, don't worry about entering the date there but obviously if you want to add multiple uh, different vitamins that you're getting from a single supplement for example then you can add more of those actions in there and then the last action is just to run the shortcut so you want to select the shortcut itself not the settings shortcut so if we search for medication medication taken choose a shortcut there just double check if you have added the log health sample action to this automation just make sure that the input for this shortcut is the text item and then you can run this automation to just check that that all works in the way that you would expect by hitting the play icon in the bottom right hand corner once you've done that if you go to next i would switch off ask before running and then switch on notify when run so you know when you've scanned the nfc tag successfully but you don't have to approve the shortcut before it runs and that's it so i hope that was helpful just let me know if you have any questions at all in the comments and i'll be sharing more notion templates and apple shortcuts right here on this channel very soon